Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to enable all the time location permission option for your Android app. So when you give the or when you ask the default location permission, then you'll get only these three options uh, for your app. That is while using the app only this time or don't allow. And if you go in the settings, you'll see these three options which a user can select for your app. However, what if you want the location permission all, all the time? So how to get this uh, this option in your Android app? So let's begin and let's see. So we'll create a new project and wait for my, okay, I'll name this application as uh, all the uh, allow, allow all the time location permission, yeah. I'm keeping it same as what we see over here, allow all the time. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. The environment is still loading and first and foremost what I'll do is without doing anything in this code, I'll run this code or run this app in the emulator and see what are the default options what we get. So I think it's almost loading. In the meantime, I'll also open manifest dot xml file because here is what we will implement but yeah first and foremost i will run it in an emulator and see in the settings what are the options which we get for our this particular app things to be noted is right now we have not implemented anything in our manifest file so let's wait for the app to come up yeah so emulator is still loading up it's coming up so we'll have to wait app is getting installed so I hope the app comes quickly and also we'll see the settings of the app before we proceed. Perfect, the app has come up. We don't have to do anything with the layout. So we'll just close it. We, we noticed that no permission was asked. And in the settings, we'll just quickly search for our app, which is basically location permission. Yeah, so it came up here. So just go there. And once we click on our app info of our app, the name is a little weird, of course, but yeah, it, it, at least we were able to locate. And here we see there is no permissions. This tab itself is not highlighted because we have not right now implemented or included any kind of permissions in our manifest file. So let's include one by one the permissions. So user permission, the find location, and then the course location are the default ones. What any uh, program or the Android developer uses and in our app code we can request the permission from the user new string and then here it will manifest dot permission dot course location and the other one is manifest dot permission dot find location yeah, and then package manager permission grant. Yeah, so this line will be responsible to ask the user for the permission of the location. But what we'll see is it will by default ask only the this one, these options, which is while using the app or only this time. It will not give you the default option or the option of allow all the time. So let's see how we can get that. So if you notice our app has come up and is asking for these three options so say for example if i do while using this app and go back to my settings to see what are the options what we get here so my app is not coming up again let's see time location So I'm not able to find the app in the search. I don't know why. So that couple of options I can go to the all apps or rather than that, the easier option will be I go to my phone and from here I'll just uh, go to the this app info over here and that's all. Yeah. So already if you see the permissions uh, page has come up now and the permission which are allowed is location. But if you click here. We are getting only these three options only while using the app or ask every time. We don't, we still don't get or we still don't see this fourth option 
which is allowed all the time. So how to do that? That's very easy and simple. What we will do is in our manifest file, we have to implement something called background location. So this will make sure that app is also able to get the location in the background. And if you want that permission from the user, you have to include this check background location check in your uh, while asking the requesting the permission from the user. If we read on the code, we'll see uh, how it comes up. So if you notice, it, it has taken us back to the app info of that particular app and now we can see this code option coming up. So we can also do is we can redo from here. And we went here, went to permissions, went to locations and now we get this option. So the difference between these two options are when you use this third option allow only when, while using the app. If the app is closed or app is running in background, that time it will not have the access to the location. But if you want the uh, location services to be accessible even in the background, you have to use this option. And this is required for uh, apps which does lots of things in the background, but they need the location uh, access even in the background. So this is very simple. Android has done it uh, a safety check for security reasons so that not all the apps which are trivial by default gets this uh, access all the time. And Android is trying to promote uh, only the access while using the app, but this is possible still uh, uh, by using the background location option. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.